Hey guys, fear back another day, another VOD. It's Twitch Rod from the 12th of February 2022. This is a short stream. Uh, one of the bonus streams I was doing during Love is in the Air. Uh, trying to get the heartbreak amount. Mm, it's good fun. Look, uh, we had a few chats, a few kind of just chill discussions about a few different bits and pieces. I hope you enjoy it. It was a pretty fun stream. Very chill though. Just relaxing with people and talking and... It's nice. I like streams like that. So I hope you enjoy it too. You can catch me live 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Or you can go to twitch.tv forward slash viama forward slash schedule uh, to see all of my stream times translated into your local time zone, which is very handy because then I don't have to do math because sometimes math is hard. Yes. Make sure you check that description box for all of my social media stuff. Please do shoot me a follow if you feel uh, generous because it helps. It actually really helps. But anyway, enough of me. Enjoy the VOD. Uh, I hope I'll see you in chat soon. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Afternoon. Fuck, it's afternoon. Good afternoon. Where even is the time on? Oh, it's underneath the rarity button. Okay, good. When I don't have my add-ons on, I'm like, what the fuck am I even doing? That button. Join me. Let me turn the captions on. Hello, testing, testing. Good. Join me. Ah, well done, Zam, on first. Well done, Shiba, on second. K has attempted first. Hello, K. Early Saturday fear stream. I know, Nano, how awesome is this? Well done, K, on last. Third for Nano. Hi, Zeren. Always got bronze or participation. The only times I ever got not participation was when it was like academic crap. And there weren't many, like back when I was a kid, because I'm old now, remember? Back when I was a kid, um, we didn't really have any academic. I mean, we had like debate team and that was it. There were no other real academic competitions. <laughs> All the competitions were physical, uh, and I got none of those. If I was forced to participate, I would get a participation ribbon. Usually, I would try to avoid it. Like calling in sick on cross-country day. Like, why cancel all the classes? To force children to walk around a 3k track or whatever the fuck it was. We would run... Until we're out of sight of the teachers and then just walk the rest of the way. Like, anyway. <clears throat> it's probably why I'm so unfit now, but that's okay. That's okay, because Zarin has sent me a fucking Fitbit. <laughs> so when that arrives, and it is, it's coming from Amazon. So um, my experience has told me that the gifts that come from Amazon, super fucking fast. The gifts that come from anywhere else tend to be a bit slower. Um, and that's like, that's not, that's just because Amazon is ridiculous. Um, not because of the like fault of Throne or the other brands or anything like that. It's just because Amazon is ridiculous. Um, but it is the weekend. So I don't think that they'll actually place the order until early next week. And that's totally okay. Um, I'm just, I'm just ridiculously grateful that that's a thing that I'm going to own soon. Fuck. Anyway. Um, also here. Welcome back fairy. Hello, Lucky. How are you going? It is on good. <laughs> no, nice try. Hello, Yuri. Who dare? K. K dare. Coas, indeed. Excuse me. Good morning. Hello, Lander. I know, look, it's an odd time. My my bonus streams were all going to be at 6 p.m. to have some consistency. Because, you know, we know now that I've changed my Sunday streams and my numbers are going up, that consistency, like having the same start time every day, actually makes a difference. Uh, but fuck that. I'm going out for birthday dinner tonight. So if you wanted to see the Heartbreaker runs, they were going to be at this time of day. So, and that's right, people who can't make it at this time, there's always the VOD. So um, they'll be able to enjoy that, hopefully. Uh, hello, Ali, Devo, 69th Philanda. Look, it, it could have happened. It could have happened. I'm going to stick that there. And I'm going to stick that there. And then... Yeah, that can go there. Uh, 
not a, not a fail, Ellie. You weren't here to see it. That's okay. That's why I like the fact that um, I found the setting for Qualitron to actually say there's a reason it's not working. It's not broken. It just, it's been used already. Just finished making chicken jus and now I smell of meat, even after having a shower. That being said, there are worse things to smell of, I suppose. Yeah, there are worse things to smell of. Uh, rotting meat is one of them. Back many moons ago, I remember that Jas had a, um, he was doing, he was working uh, on, like, doing manual labor stuff, but do, doing, like, import-export stuff. And uh, they found a container on the yard, and they're like, what is, what, what is this? Like, this has been here for ages, and, like, have you got any documentation? Like, we think we've got documentation, but let's just, I don't know, let's just find out. They cracked it open, and it, it had been full of meat. Sitting in a container in the sun for Lord knows how long. The container had to be cleaned. Yep. Pretty sure he couldn't get the smell out of his sinuses for like a week. <laughs> it could be so much worse. Cooking smells can be fairly interesting, um, especially at the very beginning of the process when it's like raw meat and stuff like that, but there are definitely worse things to smell of. I mean, it's not the worst smell yet. <laughs> I hate when my hands smell of onions after chopping them even hours later. Oh, really? See, I don't mind the smell of raw onion. Um, I do prefer the smell of cooking onion, yes, but like the smell of raw onion isn't too bad, as long as I can't feel it in my eyes, as long as it's just the smell. Gah. Hello, compelling of a hello, Lando. Thank you. Uh, that shirt is amazing. I need to get one. I got this from Jinx many years ago. Like, I'm talking about, like, before I started, like, at the start of my gap year from uni is when I got this shirt. So I graduated high school in 2007. I was year, two, year of 2007. So I'm pretty sure I got this at the start of 2008 as a birthday present. Um, so it is old AF. Uh, and it is, it is from Jinx. But, um, you're going to be able to see the, not really, um, but you might be able to find it somewhere. Failing that, you might even be able to print it yourself, um, considering it doesn't actually have any, apart from the font, I don't think there's any, um, like, what's your hoover? You know, there is, there is like a Blizzard logo somewhere on it. I think it's down the bottom at the back. No? Ah, uh, fuck, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's... If you can't find it, I'm sure you could get it made. And even, look, hey, even if you made it for yourself and it did have copyrighted stuff, as long as you didn't try to sell them, you should be fine. Like, anyone can make fan art. Um, and t-shirts count as fan art, they just can't sell it. So as long as you are uh, kept away from trying to make a profit, then I reckon you should be fine. <clears throat> I just went to help the teachers. I still remember the time since many people were want to fix their own glasses and hair and my makeup in the reflection of mine, the times that a teacher did that, looking at herself and looking at herself, her glasses and such in my glasses reflection. <laughs> oh dear. All right, next one. Uh, what's for dinner? Oh, this, this is not, this is um, technically brunch, I think, uh, for me, but it's leftover duck curry from last night. Because it's fucking delicious, and I don't like wasting food. <clears throat> Thank you. There's a Thai restaurant that's called Duty, and it smells never good. Oh. That sucks. Most Thai restaurants I've been to smell amazing, but it might just be, like, a difference in taste as well. Ah, uh, it's okay that I don't make it on my shirt press. There you go. There you go. Uh, I finally reached the point in my CK3 game where I'm vassalizing random people that offer it to me. I've grown faster in the past year than I did in the first 20 years and a tribe. Is it because they're all afraid of you? Also, hi, Yori. I hope the cues are slightly faster when, when you're grouping with me. I hope. Uh, check out $6 shirts. They had that one at one point, but have some gems still. Awesome. I would love to make myself like an embossed co a journal cover for like Final Fantasy. Ah, or a debossed cover. Oh, I meant, what are you having for dinner tonight? Oh, for tonight! Uh, Italian. Italian. Going to a, a semi-fancy Italian restaurant. Not like a, not like a fine dining, high-end ridiculousness. Uh, but like, 
good food at a reasonable price. <clears throat> Pizza and pasta and all that kind of good stuff. I'm kind of expecting the last time that Jas and I went to an Italian restaurant together, um, we ended up getting like a pasta and a pizza and like splitting both, <laughs> like sharing both so that we will like, because I get, I get um, like FOMO, right? So whenever, if I go to a restaurant or, or whatever and they offer a, like a platter thing, um, like I remember there was at the Bavarian Beer Cafe when I used to go there in, in Sydney, I don't know if it still exists, uh, but they offered like a tasting platter so you had like a mini schnitzel and a mini piece of pork belly and then like three or four different types of sausage and stuff as well with all like the little fixins and things. And that's, I always used to get it because I was so afraid, like what if I get the pork belly and it turns out my body really wanted chicken schnitzel or someone else gets the schnitzel and I see it and I'm like, oh my God, that's amazing. Do you know, you're like, fuck that. So um, I try whenever I can <laughs> to get like a selection of items because I have massive FOMO all the time. Yeah, so Italian. <clears throat> Hi! The moment you start making profit, Entity has cause to go after you, Disney and Nintendo are not shy about that. Correct. Correct. Uh, and I mean, but it's it's not even that they're not shy about it. It's the, um, like, in America in particular, if you don't go after your IP and protect other people from monetizing it, you can lose the trademark. Like, it's an actual legal thing where if you don't if you don't prevent other people from using it without the proper licensing, this is the thing. You can absolutely license stuff out to people. Like, I mean, I've seen, um, fucking, like, Colourpop did an Animal Crossing uh, collection. I have two palettes that I ended up with that are, that are Animal Crossing related, right? They're little, um, the, like, quads, right? Um, but... You can license stuff out, sure. And if you're if you're trying to be generous about it, you can license thing out for a nominal amount, like a buck, like a dollar, a singular dollar or whatever. As long as those licenses exist, it's okay. But if you just let people go, like have fun with it willy nilly, you can lose your trademarks and then you're fucked because your competitors can use them because you don't have the trademark anymore. So yeah, it's... As much as people love to demonize Disney for doing it, there is a fucking good reason for it. Um, yeah. As far as I'm aware, they tend to start with a cease and desist and they only get really nasty with it if people ignore that. And honestly, if you ignore a legal document like that, <laughs> yeah, that's on you, honey bear. <laughs> um, maybe I have a massive, rather massive Poland at my command at the moment, brilliant. Brilliant. I'm queuing a single healer anyway. Three DPS after this. I won't quick join. I might slow it down. Uh, if you if you want to hold, like once I rotate through all of my pure DPS tunes, I'll get onto my tunes that are tank and healer. And you're more than if you've got a pure DPS tune that you want a faster queue for, you are more than welcome to join me in one of those queues to try to s speed it up a little bit. I know you'd have to wait a little bit to to get to that part of the stream, um, but if you're willing to wait, then yeah, I'm more than happy to try to give you a faster queue in return. Absolutely. Like, come on, teamwork, right? Teamwork. Uh, and I went to Goldie a few months ago. Went to this place, Vapiano's, I think it was called. It's like Italian subway, kind of. Neat, neat concept and wasn't too bad taste-wise. Um, there is a Vapiano's in Brisbane City, and I have been once. And it is kind of funky. Like, you go up there and you, like, you choose your sauce, you choose your pasta, you cho and, like, you put it all together, and then you go to your table, and they kind of cook it up for you and serve it. It is, it's a really funky concept. Um... I have only been once and I was warned that the queues can be really, really long. Um, but the queues were fine when we went. I think we went pretty early though. Like we had a fairly early dinner. Ah, uh, platter was still the last time I went to. It is delicious. Oh, it was my favorite thing, Ali. My favorite thing. That and the meter of schnapps. <laughs> because fuck yeah. Although um, often I didn't want to actually drink that much. And so I would go with like um, blueberry schnapps and lemonade rather than just doing a shot of schnapps. Blueberry schnapps in lemonade was just phenomenal. Absolutely delightful. Of course, just meant uh, those two have attack sharks. So the radio, or yeah, they do. And that that is why it's, it's because they want to make sure that their company is safe from losing any of their trademarks that they have spent decades, century, uh, curating, 
I get it's still, you know, it, it, it can hurt people, but um, do the right thing and you won't get hurt. You know, don't try to make money off other people's ideas and you'll be fine. Uh, is basically... Maybe that, like, that sentence, don't make, don't try to make money off other people's ideas. I have always been really kind of, like, I'll be watching somebody else's stream and be like, oh, that's a really funky concept. But then, like, I, I'm like, oh, you know, I wonder if that'd work with my community. And then my brain is like, no. No. Shut it. Get off. Like, no. -uh. Um, and I think it's kind of like, I don't want to be seen to look like I'm stealing people's ideas and shit. But it, it's not necessarily, like... I don't know. Every like everything that people do, most of what people do, there are tools out there to make it a thing that happens. You know? So it's like if the tool exists for everyone to use, then you using it as well isn't you copying someone. It's raining. <gasps> Where the hell did that come from? I just I could hear pitter patter. I'm like, what the fuck is that noise? And I can see just through the gap in my blinds. <laughs> It's raining, Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, so I've always been a little bit funny about um, incorporating really funky stuff that I see other streamers doing into my own content because I feel like it's me ripping them off. And it's ne it would never be my intention, but it just, yeah, I don't know. And it's really difficult to come up with new content when literally, like new, new features and things like that when literally everything's been done before. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> No, seriously, Fear, you know how big and nasty that Scandinavia you had was? It's about that size as a kingdom. Oh no. Can you convert to an empire yet? Or are you missing, like, key little bits here and there? Ah, oh, that sounds nice. I like vanilla schnapps. And cranberry juice tastes like strawberry cheesecake. Why does it not taste like cranberry cheesecake? I'm so confused. <laughs> but that's awesome. That sounds really good. I don't think I've ever had vanilla schnapps. I've always gone for the fruity ones or, like, butterscotch or, you know, that kind of thing. Of course vanilla schnapps would exist, but I mean, I think the only thing I've had is like vanilla vodka. Um, and I usually put vanilla vodka in Coke because you lot, you lot know how much I like vanilla Coke. Maybe I should see if I can find like a slab of vanilla Coke cans on Amazon and put it on my wish list just for shits and giggles. <laughs> vanilla Coke is fire. Oh goody, this guy's just, I mean, yeah, I just realized. Your talk of pork belly makes me want to go to the Vietnamese restaurant, Jared, and I freaking love, we are overdue. Ooh. That sounds really good. The sky, yeah, heck if I know, I can't see out my window anymore. Oh no. <clears throat> well, if you put a shirt on, you can come and have a look through mine. Send me the rain, please, and thank you. Does it not rain where you're from? Yeah, it does, but I just wasn't expecting it to come because it was just, it was not even, like there's, I couldn't even see any clouds in the sky before. And the, the clouds that I can see now are all very, very white. None of them are like angry looking or, or threatening to dump anything on us. It's just unexpected is all. We definitely get rain, but I don't know about Yori. Um, Yori might be in a particularly drought stricken part of the country. Uh, I honestly do sleep, just my sleeping pattern is strange and a little messed up. Oh yeah, my, my sleeping pattern is, um, fucked. It's it's just totally screwed at the moment. One must have a one-handed melee weapon equipped in the main hand. I do have a one-handed melee weapon in the main hand equipped. What? I Why am I wearing balanced heart seekers? I'm so confused. Why? That's, I'm... Um... Uh, alright. Just, you forget to go lose the sky again? Nope, still can't make an empire yet. Oh no! Oh no. Do you do the no sugar vanilla coke? N no, I don't think I've actually seen it before. I just kind of grabbed the one with the, like, the bronzy looking label. I mean, I'd absolutely give it a try. I have no opposition whatsoever to, to no sugar or low sugar um, beverages. None, none at all. Like, absolutely, I'd give it a go. I just don't think I've seen it. <clears throat> I'm going to call my empire Bigger Poland. Good. <laughs> Dan is in the desert. Storms nine times out of ten go around us. Oh, Yori. Jesus. 
Those aren't pirate weapons, they're daggers. I guess, okay, I can't use daggers. No sugar vanilla coke isn't actually that different. The no sugar sprite isn't very different either. Um, like, I the no sugar, the no sugar Mountain Dew is horrific. The no sugar Mountain Dew is absolutely horrific. It tastes like chemicals. Um, like, legit, I mean, it, it tastes, you can't, there's no, there's no Mountain Dew flavor in there. It's literally just like fake sugar chemical taste. That's it. Um, in a liquid that is fluorescent yellow. Um, but yeah, a lot of the no sugar stuff tastes really fucking good. Like they've had decades and decades to, to tweak and get this flavor right. And they've done a lot of, like a really good job with a lot of them. Um, but there are just some that I just don't think work. <laughs> Ah, uh, it is a thing if no sugar is your jam. Yeah, I look, I mean, I definitely give it a go. And if it's an option, uh, I'll usually go that way if it's not Mountain Dew. Uh, <laughs> but um, even when we make our soda stream stuff, we often, we put less syrup. There's like in the lid with the measuring thing, there's like three lines. There's like little, like there's like half and then there's like a little bit less and then there's full sugar. And we always go in the middle. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think I've seen it. I'll have to have a look. The vanilla coke too, fuck yes. Becoming more common in Coles and Woolies. Ah, oh, cool. Um, because I usually just grab a bottle from the fridges right next to the self checkouts. So I'll have to have a proper hunt next time and see if even even if there's no no sugar co vanilla coke there, if there's even a label for it, um, that'd be handy to just see. Ah, uh, I have to go make two rooms for Monday night if I don't make it back before we head it out. A good night, will do, Zarin. Thank you so much. Well, I'm gonna probably be here given how long these queue times are going for. I'm probably gonna be here for a couple of hours, uh, like like three hours or so at this rate, um, but that's okay. Less sweet, normal sweet, extra sweet, yeah. Yeah. Fucking soda stream stuff is awesome. I'm curious now. What is Amazon.com.au? Kirk. There's the vanilla Coke. Temporarily out of stock. Coca-Cola vanilla soft drink multi-pack cans. 10 times 375 mil. Out of stock. Um, ah, there it is. Coca-Cola no sugar vanilla soft drink. 12 times 1.25 litre. 2520. That is cheap as shit. 25 bucks for like, how many litres is that? Fifteen liters of no sugar vanilla coke, twenty five twenty, free delivery. Ah, oh, on orders over thirty nine. Okay. <clears throat> now there's caffeine free. There's a cherry coke Funko Pop, but no actual cherry coke. Uh, do you know the saved instance add-on keeps track of your tunes total play time, check your account's total play time if you dare. Yeah, you can do that with um Altaholic as well. Except that it can't keep track of characters that have been deleted, which I've had um like I had a character my very first character that I played for like a year or so that was deleted, so I lost all that playtime. <clears throat> Unfortunately. There is a Coke flavor paste for cake dressing, uh, for cake to toppings and stuff. This is interesting. Um, there are so many products that I did not know existed. Uh, <laughs> oh, they have mini, mini Coca-Cola vanilla soft drink multi-pack cans. They're the 250 mil cans. But they're like $2 a can. Maybe if I just type in vanilla Coke into the, rather than just Coke. <clears throat> that looks like it's the only four. Uh, 
Ah, uh, I finally did it today. I queued for an SL dungeon by accident. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I haven't done it since I got the add on. Because that button. I can't fuck up. I'm glad. <clears throat> Food eaten. Well, I've already got through six, so that's good. See, this is the other option, is that Amazon has soda stream syrups. Ah, <laughs> oh, the no sugar stuff. I really should get some of that. Strawberry watermelon drink mix. That sounds delicious. That sounds amazing. <clears throat> and then it's got all the moaning syrups. God, sparkling, like, s chai tea soft drink would be fucking weird, I reckon. Because they've got a chai tea, a moaning chai tea syrup, right? I feel like that'd be super weird in fucking sparkling water. What the cola and Dr. Pete soda stream syrups from Amazon, they were six dollars a piece if you bought two. Yas. Speaking of soda stream, I found a sugar-free solo syrup at Coles once. It was really nice. Yeah, the the solo stuff because it's the focus of solo is all on the fact that it's super fucking lemony. Having no sugar actually kind of just lets the citrus do its thing, which is yeah, I I really like sugar-free solo. It's really tasty. Really tasty. <clears throat> So I decided to do some transmog runs instead of my event dungeon queues, thinking I'd wait till stream. Sounds perfectly reasonable, right? I'm still in Ulduar. Oh. Oh, meaty. Oh, no. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh. Oh, that's something I had not thought of. There's a book here. So I've typed in soda stream syrup, right? There's a book. It's called... The Soda Maker Flavor Bible. Healthy and natural homemade flavor syrup recipes for soda stream carbonation machines. That, honestly, sounds like something I should... The, the issue is that would require work, right? Do I have time? No, absolutely not. But Jas might. <clears throat> Over a hundred delicious recipes for creative sodas. Soda drinks. Now I want like a listing of the... <clears throat> oh my god, the first recipe in the book is apple cinnamon soda. Okay, fuck this. This is going on the wish list. Oh my god. Apple pomegranate, banana soda, cantaloupe float, concord grape and lemon soda, homemade grape soda, Italian black cherry cream soda, maple cherry cream soda, maple peach, and that's the end of the sample. Uh, I love healthy sugar syrup, yeah. <laughs> I think what it means is healthier. 
Like, there's no chemicals, there's no preservatives, there's probably going to be less sugar. I think that's what they're kind of leaning towards. It's still not healthy, but it's a far, like, it's a long way healthier than, um, than, you know what I mean? I think that's probably what they're trying to aim at. Um, because you're like, absolutely I could. Absolutely I could. Does he have time? No. Does Jazz have time? Actually, probably. <laughs> um... Alright. Out we get. Next one. You're very welcome, Kay. Not a problem. I like helping. Uh talking about healthy food. Yum. Peach chart's delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How is everyone today? Oh, by the way, I'm still claiming it's my birthday because the final time zone has not left February 11th yet. Any progress on camera flicking thing? No. No. But I have actually encountered other people who have the same issue. So I'm so glad it's not just me. Like, I mean, that sounds really horrible. Like, I'm not glad that other people are having problems, but I am glad that it's not an issue with me that couldn't be figured out. Um, but when I was doing, when I was doing editing of the VODs and stuff, I managed to grab a frame where the flicker had happened. I'm pretty sure I posted that image in, um, in Discord at one point, cause it's really kind of funky. Uh, but I sent that screenshot to Logitech to say, hey, by the way, this is exactly what it looked like. This is what the flicker actually looks like in terms of like the split second when it has flickered, because I figured that maybe that might help. Like if they can see if it's, cause you know, if it was just like the, the image had like shifted down by half, half the width and it like, you know, the, the top and bottom had switched or something, or if it like the side and side had switched or they could figure out what might be causing that particular graphical issue to happen. Maybe, I don't know, um, but they've, they've sent that onto their engineers and um, I believe what they're trying to do is replicate it. Uh, I believe that they're trying to replicate getting the camera to make it look like what's happening in the flicker and seeing what they have to do to make that happen so that they can like work backwards. I'm I'm not too sure though. It's um yeah. We're just gonna do one last achieve for V Day. Yay! Need more tokens to buy the fools. Yep. So um I'm assuming you've done your dailies and I'm assuming you've done your daily run, like your your um thing magic. Um beyond that, uh if you go and do Deaths of Chromie 
Um, there's no long quest chain required to unlock it. It's a pretty, like, there is a quest chain, but it's pretty quick. Um, it's in at the top of Wormrus Temple. You talk to Chromie. Uh, it's a scenario. It scales you down to level 50. And once you have the ability to go to the Emerald Dragon Shrine within Deaths of Chromie, you can just run laps, killing all the shit. Uh, and because they're level 47, while well, you're level 50, um, well, I think you're scaled down to, you are scaled down to either 50 or 45 or so, I can't remember exactly, but they, they, they give you tokens, they give you the charms, the lovely charms. 10 lovely charms makes a bracelet, and then the bracelet, um, can be traded in for one token. So if you're only a handful short, um, yeah, and I was getting approximately 100 charms, like, variable, obviously, because it's a chance to drop every time, it's not guaranteed. Um, but I was getting approximately 100 charms per 15 minute run. Because, uh, Deaths of Kirby kicks you out after 15 minutes if you haven't saved her. Um. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. That's what I did. I did a couple runs yesterday to get enough bracelets to last me however many daily sets I need to do. Uh, so I don't have to do it anymore. But yeah, that's, if you want to farm it, that's, um, the most efficient way I've found. Um, you're feeling great personally. I'm happy to be with you. And see you do your thing. Oh, awesome. Ah, uh, you'll get there, hey. You'll get there. Ah, uh, interesting Tessa Chromie. Don't know. I've ever done that. Um, I had on Fear. I hadn't on a lot of my tunes. I hadn't on a lot of my characters. But, um, I jumped in on Alexia and Phelan, my rogue and my druid. I am grateful. Um, and the... Oh, okay! <laughs> Kay, thank you so much. That's amazing. Hey, Jas, we're going to have fancy soda stream. Oh, my God. Thank you. Just the, the first recipe being apple cinnamon. Sold. Fucking sold, hey. Aw, yay. Thank you. Oh, I found a, I found a book on Amazon, Jas, because I typed in soda, soda stream syrup into Amazon AU to see if there were any, like, interesting flavors. Uh, and there was a book on making your own syrups. Um... And there's like a hundred different syrups, and I'm like, ooh! So I put it on the wish list, and Kay just bought it for us. Fucking love apple cinnamon, right? It's like one of my favoriteest flavors, like ever, ever. Uh, I've got tunes during dailies. Get the expensive love token stuff. I need that. Pity the full achieve too. Yeah, yeah. So um, I've got my. Uh, so I because you get seventy minimum. 70 tokens minimum if you do 14 runs of the the dungeon right uh not the 15th day because the 15th day is going to be a fucking shit fight anyway um but yeah so 14 runs um gets me 70 tokens so to get the sturdy love full for 100 i needed one set of dailies which is 33 tokens so i did that on alexia um for the hearthstone i needed 150 tokens so that's 70 80 additional uh, 80 additional tokens, which is three sets of dailies. I've done those now. And I'm going to get the love boat, which is 270 on fear, which meant that I needed seven days worth of dailies to get all the tokens required. And I'm down to three more on her. Three more sets of dailies needed. So yeah, all I have to do now is today, tomorrow, and Monday of dailies on fear. And I don't have to do any more dailies. I'll have enough tokens. And then I've just got to wait for the, the daily runs to clock me up enough tokens. Um, so like I've got... Uh, there's Phelan. She's on 127 now, so she's bloody close to 150 anyway, um, without having to wait all the time. Um, Alexia's on 68. She's lagging a bit behind, but Fia's on 175. Um, so yeah, they're, they're getting there. They're definitely getting there. Uh, Desichromi is fun to do for its own sake if you like story and modes with permanent progression. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. Um, you can't finish the, the you cannot finish the instance properly. Like, you can't save her in all the different timelines on the first round intentionally as you do it you earn rep with her and then she gets like talents kind of thing that you can select uh and then you get portals to certain places and then you can find items that'll completely clear one shrine for you and, and save her there without you having to interfere and all this kind of like it goes on and on and on and it's yeah it's a lot of fun it was really cute and there's a handful of achievements and stuff too I think I might be able to get the two, 270 token items. Wait, need to do more dailies. Yay! Oh, that's awesome. Basically a roguelike within WoW. No, because you unlock stuff permanently. You don't have to, like, you don't pick talents. Eat, like, you don't get a set of stuff and you have to pick something fancy each time. Um, there, it's, um, yeah. Not, not like Torghast in where you get powers and shit like that. It's, um, 
Yeah. All right, that's 10. So we're going to switch to Alliance. It's a lot of fun though, it's super cute. Super cute. Born tokens run this year. I can always get a head start on expensive stuff for next year. No, because the tokens disappear at the end of the like the the cards. The um, they go away. They end. They disappear at the end of the event. But you can certainly plan what you're gonna do next year. But, like, so you get anywhere between 5 and 10 tokens from doing a dungeon run when you open the box at the end. Anywhere between 5 and 10. Uh, if you do all the dailies, you get 33. Uh, and then you can get one per bracelet um, if you want to farm extra ones on top of that. So, yeah. You can you can definitely kind of calculate it out. So if you're getting 70 from 14 days, like even if, okay, let's say you haven't, you haven't done runs yet and we're on what, day four? So let's assume you're going to get seven days worth of dungeon runs done. Um, that's going to be a minimum of 35 tokens, a maximum of 70. So go with 35 just to be safe. Um, then you've got seven days worth of dailies, which is 33. So seven times 33. So that's 231 plus 235 gives you 266. So then if you farmed up four, four extra additional bracelets, four, that gets you to 270. And that gets you like, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure the most expensive ones are 270. I could be wrong. Like it's, it is still very, very possible to do if you haven't been doing it up until now. It just requires, <clears throat> it requires daily effort. Um, if you do it on a mage, if you do it on a mage, the ports to um, the places where you hand in the bracelets for the extra, like for the tokens as part of the dailies, makes it a lot easier. Uh, Twitch put you on my stream as we think you did, you'd, or you enjoy section of the homepage. Funny how I'm already followed. I've been watching. Guess that's how they knew. Good morning, binary. Yeah, they um, it's all that that section is all algorithm. So if you if you watch people that other people who watch me also watch and stuff like that. And I'm on at the right times and I play the games that you like to watch and stuff. It, it will figure that out. Um, but it is really funny that people you already watch can even pop up in that section. They probably shouldn't be able to. <laughs> like if you follow someone, you probably shouldn't, they shouldn't appear in that bit. Cause that like, oh, cause there are so many other awesome streamers out there as well. And they might be missing out on a spot in that section because they stuck me in there. <laughs> That's really funny though. Good morning. It's also super easy to grind out lovers in the air tokens compared to some of the other currency holidays. Correct. Yes, definitely. Uh, I definitely won't be getting that love magnet achieve. You don't need it for the meta. Which one is the love magnet achieve? Oh, that's really easy. You just got to pair up. So um, what you so that's the um, the toy that does that, right? It's got fifty charges. Um, if you buy one and a person like a friend buys one, and you stand next to each other, if you cast it on them, and then you cast it again as soon as it comes off cooldown, they stack. So you just need to stand next to each other and commit to both doing it. It takes a while. It takes like 10, 15 minutes or whatever it is. Um, but if you both cast it back and forth between the two of you, one when, when both of your charges have run out, you both get the achieve. That's how I did it. I just got a friend to help. We both we both gave it to each other. Because <clears throat> I don't care about the meta, I want all the achieves. <laughs> but that's that's me. That's me. Um, honestly, if you're doing the Silver Pine Dailies, 
Uh, you get way more than four bracelets worth of charm in seven runs. Silver pine dailies. See, I went and did those and I got like one charm or two charms while I was doing the dailies out in Silver Pine Forest. So I just went and did um, thingy of uh, like Desichrome. That was easy. Uh, I'm just finishing up stuff for the Lunar Festival. Done the achieves I need doing the quest to unlock the permanent flower crowns. Yeah, that one took a while just because of travel time. Just because of travel time. Pretty sure all I need is the Hearthstone toy for this event. Got my achievements years ago. Oh, and this bloody mount. Yeah. So I am i didn't bother getting... So I think they introduced a bunch of new toys last year. And I didn't bother getting any of them. Um, so... I think... It was last year or the year before. I don't quite remember. So I've got three more toys to get. I've cleared out my dinner box... Uh, dinner suit boxes and my lovely dress boxes. I've gotten everything from those now, which is really... I did get a few duplicates, but I have enough tunes that it didn't fucking matter. Uh, <laughs> there was no question. I was gonna... Like, unless I had terrible luck, I was absolutely gonna clear out those this year. Um, so I've got the Love Boat, the Hearthstone, and the Sturdy Love Fool to get, but I'm on track for three different tunes to get each of those, and it'll be, yeah, just fine. And then it's just the Mount... That's the last thing I'll need. Mm, the travel is brutal. Yeah, I just kind of got up high above the tree line and then hit like auto run. Shunk. Yep. <laughs> yep. What I would love is an alarm in Zygor that tells you when you're like 300 yards out. So you can alt tab and just let it auto run and then come back when it's. Yep. That'd be nice. <laughs> Google Maps GPS style it. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yep. Oh my god, come on. I'm gonna be here for six hours at this rate. I can't be. A dinner reservation. <laughs> Zygo wants us to explore oceans and space. <laughs> so does anyone else need the love magnet achieve? I would say probably so, Yori. Um, if no one in chat does, because, um, I mean, it is an unusual time of day for me to be streaming, so we don't have quite as many of our usuals here. Ask in Discord. Um, I guarantee there'll be somebody who's like, oh, yeah, actually. There you go. Allie needs it. Perfect. <clears throat> Let's go. I have a feeling I'm not going to hit the uh, instance lock on Horde today. <laughs> Unless things start getting much faster. Granted, actually, while I'm doing DPS queues, the massively long queue times may mean that um, Tank or Healer get, like, instant pops. Just about to turn in all my dailies. Fantastic, Ali. Well, hopefully once you've turned in all your dailies, you can uh, get together with... Um, with Yori and uh, get yourselves an achieve. Yeah, just keep in mind it does take a while. Like, have a look at you. The, have a look at the cooldown on the toy, and then multiply that by fifty. Like, it's it will take a while. Um, but as long as you can both commit to that, you both get the achieve. Teamwork makes the dream work.
oggi. Four minute average wait time for DPS. <laughs> what is four minutes times 50 characters? Duh. which is 3.3 3 recurring hours and that's just in queue that doesn't count actually killing stuff and logging out and changing tunes and stuff like that i really hope that my tank and healer queues are faster because otherwise i'm not going to be able to make the dinner jas what is the time what what time is the dinner reservation just so i can like keep an eye on it <clears throat> 6 15 okay thank you for that i appreciate it because i would like to not wear this to dinner um <laughs> i'd like to get changed um potentially also brush my hair uh <laughs> Hopefully this whole thing takes fewer than six hours because that would um, upset me greatly. Oh my god, we lost the tank. <clears throat> they must have hit lockout. Yeah, I've got 10 minutes until my uh, my Horde ones start unlocking, I and I've still got seven more tunes on Alliance to do before I switch back. I think I'm going to be perfectly fine. <clears throat> Something tells me I'm going to be golden. Hello, Rel. Interesting. Where's my... Oh, let's give me these. And then... This. It's been a while. <laughs> Just a bit. Just, just, just a short while. It's fine. That's <laughs> <clears throat> right, thirteen done. On to number fourteen. <sighs> it definitely seems to be tank use today. Have you had a great day yesterday? Um, yeah, I think I did. I think I did. Um, uh, did have a very productive day. Had a had a nap accidentally, which was great. Uh, stream was stream was full on, like fucking eight hundred and forty eight percent hype train. 
uh, and so many like sub bombs and thrown gifts and donations and love and just oh my god it was it was bonkers uh, and then my first ever drama as a content creator uh, which seemed to be resolved pretty quickly which is nice so <laughs> yeah but um no it was a it was a ride it was a journey You know, overall, yeah, it was a it was an awesome day and just like mind blown, mind blown. Uh, stream of drama, what happened? Uh, uh, there was a post in an Oceanic Wow Facebook group about like why why is she always on the launcher? Um, which is fine, totally reasonable question. Like I, that's not the drama. Like that's totally fine. Um, it was more the massive number of misogynistic comments. Um, about how I slept with half a blizzard and um, am sponsored or it's because I have tits and I'm a redhead. One person actually called me a busty redhead and I'm like, you have clearly not watched any of my streams because I have tiny titties. Like, <laughs> clearly you have no idea what you're fucking talking about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was um, it was a time. But um, all the, like, I, I responded. I actually posted like a wall of text to say, hey, by the way, guys, I'm not actually sponsored. And I explained the whole of how everything had worked. And I gave like recommendations. Like I can't, like, I don't make the decisions, but this is what I did. And this is what I'd recommend if you want to get yourself or other people that you know recognized uh, potentially, obviously there's no guarantee. Um, and the person who authored the post dropped into stream um, to, to apologize. I'm like, no, it's fine. Like, it's absolutely like, that's a reasonable question. Like, oh yeah, no, but all the, all the dick wads. I'm like, no, 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 that's not your fault at all. Like, don't stress about that. Uh, and all those comments got deleted by the mods of the, of the Facebook group, um, because it's against their rules. Uh, so yeah, no, it was, it just, it was, it was an interesting time. And, uh, as, as a handful of memes have said, you know, you know, you're going in the right direction when you encounter enemies. So, um, yeah, I uh, like that's my, that's my sign that I'm actually starting to get, you know, I'm getting that kind of recognition, and with that kind of recognition comes haters, and that's okay. That's if if they want to spend their time slagging off other people online, then <laughs> that is their decision. I can think of multitudes of other far more entertaining and fun things that they could be doing with their time, but if they want to do that, then that's their choice. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's my it's my first ever kind of yeah, which was which was interesting. Tiny teddies. I wish I had tiny teddies. They're delicious. I don't have any tiny teddies. Uh, you were in a drama. How many episodes this series? What station will it air on? <laughs> oh god, I wish. Can you imagine? I'd actually get paid for that. Um. <laughs> oh great. Tiny teddies are good. Tiny teddies are amazing. So delicious. <laughs> Glad it got resolved in a mature way. Yeah, I like to think so. Um, the like the person who made the post and I had a had a discussion, which I think was really good. Um, and they ended up following me. Which, you know, I'm not their kind of content, but they still ended up following me, which is really sweet of them. Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was everyone else who had absolutely nothing to do with me or my content, just kind of making assumptions that because I'm a female streamer, actually making career progression then I must be doing something scandalous and that's like, or I must have bodily attributes that they believe are valuable in society, which is kind of, you know, what, whatever, whatever. I hope they find peace. <laughs> I hope they, uh, I hope they have lovely days. Uh, should you just any my last bracelet? Yay. Oh, I'm so excited for you guys. Yay for achievements. Fucking love achievements. I'd love to do an achievement hunting stream. But I feel like all the achievements I have left to hunt can't really be done in a stream. <laughs> They're all like big deal ones. But I'm sure we could figure something out. Peach out's trying to kill me. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
It still stings a little, but I think we're good. As you know how um, when you get the the tangy ones, how they've got like citric acid crystals along with the sugar crystals on the outside. I think a citric acid crystal kind of got lodged just at the entrance to my sinuses sort of thing uh, in that little tickly place. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. I'm not dying. What are you talking about? Ah, do you think it? I know, I know. Um, could be a series if there's stuff you can hunt over the course of several sessions. Good point. I am an alliance, so it's gonna mess things up a little bit. And I hate that it doesn't show me the like how many I haven't got on the side when I don't have LUI on. <clears throat> uh, although, actually, I could do this on DFA instead. Um, that would probably help. Foods is not for breathing. Look, I usually I know that, but my body decided it wanted to do something a little bit different today. <laughs> I wanted to experiment with my eating style. The experiment was uh, unsuccessful, in my honest opinion. <clears throat> that hurts. Yeah, it just kind of feels scratchy at the moment, so I think I'm okay, but like... Yeah, it was, it was not fun. It was not fun. Um, <clears throat> okay, so... I have I don't have 563 achievements. There are 563 that I don't have. Uh, from the top, this is in order of order of um uh like same thing same thing as with my uh, same sorting as I do my mounts like most common to least common. So PVP 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 PvP, 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 PvP. Quests! What? What is this one? Okay. There's a quest to achieve I don't have in amongst all this fucking PvP bullshit. Complete Roko the Wandering Merchant's quest line in Tyrga. Oh, it's an alliance one, that's why. <clears throat> I could absolutely do that though. I could absolutely do that one. PvP, what's PvP? <laughs> PvP said very quickly. You seem like you got a PvP in the future? Yeah, well, I am actually, we are going to do something like that. Um, obviously not during February, um, but at some point we are going to start incorporating like a weekly PvP stream um, into the, the schedule um, for, for a bunch of reasons. Because there's so many achievements I still have to get. Uh, because I want the PvP honor mounts, like honor level 40 is my first mount on my list and honor level 70 is the second mount on my list. Like I want to, I want to cross them off. They're sitting there. They're annoying me. I want to get rid of them. Um, plus it could be kind of entertaining. <clears throat> uh, does TOS allow you to do community PvP with the viewers to get these achieves? Uh, yeah, because it's part of the game, right? You can always join a group of people and queue up together for PvP and do stuff, regardless of whether you're a streamer or not. Like, that, it should be fine, yeah. It's just not play versus bullshit, also that, yes. Um, I mean, win trading is against the rules, but that's not what we're doing. Like, I would never, ever, 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 ever engage in win trading, unless it is part of the specific... There are some groups where, uh, some specific scenarios where uh, it is allowed because it doesn't contribute to like a rating or something like that. Um, and those are the only times I would contribute, I, I would participate in that because it's specifically not against TOS. Uh, makes sense, gotta get those achieves amounts. Yeah, exactly, exactly. What do you mean win trading? Like we let you win, then you let us win. Um, not always, not always trading back and forth like that. Sometimes it's trading a win in, in for gold or items or something else elsewhere. Um, it's basically what, win trading is essentially one group takes a fall and the other group wins. It doesn't matter what's being exchanged later or anything like that. It's literally like taking the fall so that the group who wins can benefit in some way. People do it to like boost ratings and stuff like that, which is specifically against TOS. Um, but there are very, there are a select few circumstances where it's allowed. Um, and th those are the only circumstances where I would actually participate, obviously. Uh, making group would be fine. Making group for both sides wouldn't be correct. Correct. I, um, I mean, 
making a group. I mean, the people still do. Um, like there, there is PVP where you can make a group and then someone else makes a group and then you challenge them by right clicking on their portrait. So that is, you can still do that. That is allowed. Um, it's, but I don't think it's. Um, I don't think that counts towards rating and stuff, though. I think that's more of a skirmish rather than a, excuse me, like a ranked PVP battle. From memory. I could be wrong on that. I've never done it, but I remember that, that was definitely a feature that they introduced. Ah, it generally doesn't count towards achieves, etc. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Understandably, but that that um that sucks. Okay, so there is an achievement on the first page that I can actually do. I just have to do the quests on Alliance. Uh, all right, and then PvP, 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 PvP. PvP, 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 Dungeons and Raids. Ah, oh, it's Mythic Bod. Mythic Battle of Dazara Lore, which I think is still pretty difficult slash impossible. <clears throat> um, but I mean, you'd have at least, at the very least, have to have a full group for it from memory. PvP, 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 PvP. So the first 40. Ah, oh, just too late, Ice. Just too late. Uh, Mythic Bot is very rough, yeah. 98 Mount Street! Well done! Well done. Congratulations. A uh, place where I could see preforming could be the BFA dueling system because one of the achieves is kill one of each class, yeah. Make a talk still has one shot communication stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, communication is still fine though because we have a Discord, we have the community, all that kind of stuff. That The communication would be fine. Um, but yeah, the, the achievement is for Mythic Champions of the Light, or Champion of the Light, so like the first boss. Um. So we could probably attempt to put together a, a Mythic team for that, just to get the achievements. I, I'm sure there'd be a handful of people who'd be interested. Uh, especially considering we're about to be heading into the last raid tier of the next expansion. Um, after that, that raid, we might actually, like, even if people have entry level Eternity's End gear, they might be geared enough that we could get through it, even with the squish and stuff. Close, super easy on any difficulty. Yeah, if we're gonna start though, I'd like to, I'd like to get through it if possible. Um, but we'll see! We'll see. That that would have to be something that was scheduled, so people knew when it was happening and they could rock up and stuff. Honestly, first three bosses board can be brute forced by a team of half the size required. Good. Good. Uh, then there's a feat of strength, which is events. Proud owner of the 2019 vintage Winter Vale gift, the Crash and Thrash and Battleship or Juggernaut. How did I not get that? It must have been an interesting time for me. Hmm. And then there's Alliance side quests. More PvP. Uh, Alliance reputation. Alliance reputation. PvP. Mythic Grong. It's bod. Mythic Rathian. Mythic Skitra. Player versus player. Arden wields a stage. That's the first Shadowlands one. <clears throat> so it looks like there are actually a handful of achievements that I, I could do as part of an achievement stream. Just so many PvP ones. Good lord. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't filter the achievements section by, um... Oh, you can now! You never used to be able to! So there's 563 achievements I need. If I filter out PvP, it drops to 315. That's still a fair few more than I thought it was. There's a mount attached to Ardenwills this stage. There is, yes. There is. Um, but it's also something that can only be done, like... There's, there's a specific thing that's up each day. 
um, and I don't have the channel for it for I don't have the thing for it for Night Fae, so I'd have to I can sit there on fear and just wait for it, uh, but there's no guarantee someone will come along. It'd be like an AFK camp thing, uh, unless I did it on stream and someone was kind enough to to do it. But I could still only do one per day. Um, yeah, net seven days of different cannons. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But I filtered down and I got rid of uh, well, got rid of PVP, so that's helpful. Down to three hundred and fifteen achievements, which is still that's a lot more than I thought. But I'm now noticing there's quite a few alliance ones in here, and that explains a bit. Mm, so covenant tonight, Faye just did it now, nah. because I'd have to build up the um the channeling and stuff. I I don't have that kind of time to farm out the uh anima and things. If I was going to farm the anima and stuff to unlock it, I would just do it on my night, Faye. That's okay. I uh, finally created an empire. Bigger Poland lives. Well done, Jas. Did you actually name it Bigger Poland? Were you able to? Mm, first year of anima conductor. Yeah, I'd still just do it on the night fair. <laughs> it's so much easier. <laughs> and plus, their hearthstone's parked in Ardenwield, so it'd be much faster to go and check each day. Um, yeah. Did anyone make meaty koala? I believe that koala did, yes. Damn right I did. Yas! I can help with that one. Oh, yay! Okay. Yep, he's made. Fantastic. Okay, so now that I've turned PvP off, we've got um, the Alliance Quest Chain, we've got Mythic Raid, we've got Feeder Strength, we've got Alliance Quests, we've got Alliance Rep, we've got Alliance Rep, we've got Mythic Grong, Mythic Rathian, Mythic Sketcher, Arnold's a Stage, Tolbarad Saboteur. That's because it's under expansion features, not PvP, but it is absolutely a PvP achieve. Death's Advance, Exalted Rep, Mythic Mount. Ah, uh, no, fucking Najata. Najata bullshit. Uh, Tour of War, is that. Battle for Stormguard. Stormguard. Um, it's Alliance. Um, Torghast. Apparently, I haven't done Gatekeepers of Torghast. I think I'm missing one of the Gatekeepers of Torghast. Like, one, literally. So I could just bash my head against Torghast until I get the one that I need. I am aware that some of them only appear into certain wings and stuff like that, and that's fine. I just, obviously, I'd check first, but once I know it could possibly be up, I could bash my head against it. I'm going to get tunes back into Naz for the achieves. Yeah, the only reason I've actually been in there for those achieves is because I need the Paragon mount from the cache. Um, so, yeah, that certainly helps me get shit done. I just need to start leveling him. Yes. There are a surprising number, so that's 10 alliance, so I'm switching back to Horde now. That is a surprising number of achievements I don't have. I honestly thought I had a fair few more than that. I mean, I did, okay, granted, I have 3,690 character achievements, 3,932 account achievements out of 4,495 4, 4, 4, obtainable achieves. Like, I'm not doing badly, I'm just not doing as well as I thought I was. <laughs> Crab mount is best ground mount. <laughs> God, there are so many achievements I cannot get, like, that are unobtainable. That sucks. That sucks. There are a lot of Shadowlands achieves I don't have, just because I've been spending so much time in old content. Ah, oh, it's okay, that's my choice. Uh, but... Yeah. Need turtle mount. I like turtles. Yes, go get them. Some of them can just be bought, like, straight up with gold. Although you do need, like, a pandaren to get them. At least I think you do. Thank you for the Q help, by the way, Ice. I appreciate it. Bum, 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 bum. I love magnet achieved done two to go. Yay! Just 
don't don't accidentally be typing instead of doing the cast. <laughs> Pay attention, don't fuck it up. Because if you fuck it up, you have to buy a new item and start all over again. One of the DPS dropped. Ah, uh, must have hit lockout. <clears throat> Mount Drought since July last year, ever since we went invincible to Nazi Tazzy and killed Silence I found and broke December. Holy shit, Bear! Congrats! That's amazing! So clearly, you're just not allowed to have common mounts. You only are allowed to have super rare mounts. That's the, that must be it. Good on 30 seconds on the toy buff lasts for five minutes and resets every time. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> Hmm. I just, I remember doing that achievement. It was just such a, like, pain in the ass. I was so afraid of screwing it up. I was even more afraid that the other person I was doing it with was going to screw it up. Because they, like, hesitated a few times. And I'm like, fucking just click the button. So this is probably two ten mounts. Oh, I don't have that. I definitely use frequently. Yeah. One of ten mounts I don't have that I definitely use frequently. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, that was quick. Uh, I've just had a granddaughter who is also my great granddaughter in the game. Who allowed for that to happen? Hmm. Uh, mm. That's not great. Someone should have kept it in their pants. Correct. Correct. Disney songs were historically accurate. How does that work? Granddaughter equals offspring's child. Great granddaughter means child. First offspring. No, it doesn't. Great granddaughter is the child, the, the, like, the child of your granddaughter. So you've got you, your children, your grandchildren, and then your great grandchildren. So if it is, if it's your grandchild, and your great-grandchild, it means that your child fucked your grandchild. And it created a child. So it is the child of your grandchild, as well as the child of your child. That, yeah, I think your misunderstanding here is what a great-grandchild is. Yeah. Uh, cool. Logging out. Uh, ew is correct. Ew is correct means incest at some level. Correct. <laughs> Welcome to CK3. It's not my fault, I promise. Can I clip that because of a good explanation? Probably not. <laughs> like, why does that need to be clipped? That is information you can find on Google. Uh, <laughs> and out of context can fuck me over, so let's not, yeah? Uh, no Ishak though. Unfortunately, 20 attempts on him, so I'm not surprised. I got Ishak at 33, and then Rot Feaster a day or so, a few days later at 34 attempts. Um, so when I, I got these earrings, mounts started dropping. My lucky earrings. <clears throat> but yeah, Ishak was a bastard just because it's a three hour respawn. Like, it was, it was so annoying.
Mm. I wonder if they'll put in unlocks for other event cosmetics like they did for the black guns. Potentially. Potentially. Um is it if by marriage? I'm not sure. That's a really good question. Uh, I'd love to get the fumigator mask in the eye. Forever lovely rose permanently. I mean, it is a forever lovely rose. Why can't it be lovely for the rest of the year? Good luck on this one. Thank you, Nano. Uh, which is hats and hello to helm. Rock piece is definitely on my to get list. It's just annoying because it's only up for like a quarter of every fortnight or whatever it is. Uh, once I saw it was up, I went and parked the tunes out there. I tend to, like, those are my AFK camps. Um, I have a list of mounts that I AFK camp. Uh, when they're up, I just go park a tune there and do other shit, and then I hear the alarm go off, switch, kill, move the next tune, da-da-da. It's just, um, I haven't had a whole lot of time to do AFK camping lately because I, the stuff I've been doing has been away from the PC, so I don't I hear the alarm go off, but that's okay. Uh, you know, sometimes there are higher priorities in life than mount farming. I know, shock horror, right? But occasionally it happens. Sorry, Ice, you just missed it. I'm sorry. Um, are they pairing back up? And that's why we haven't seen Heartbreak yet. I'd say so. I'd say so. They're recharging. Because they didn't get a mount last mount farm Monday either. Um, so I'm assuming that that's what's going on. <clears throat> I think anyone wants that in their search history. Well, it's historically accurate though. Like that's a thing that happened a lot. Unfortunately, it shouldn't have, but it was it was a thing. And denying history and ignoring it is um is how we end up getting fucked up shit happening again. was so easy to do while well, current is still you it's not gonna be a pain forever now that it's not yeah it's gonna be pain forever oh, honestly i don't find it to be that much of a pain if you've got a half decently geared 62 and you can solo it like it's still gonna have a three hour respawn it is what it is um but as long as you know when it's happening you can ignore your pc entirely until right before you know it's gonna spawn and jump back on and you know it's yeah pretty easy um, just, you know, having a shower thought. Oh, I'm a writer, it's for research. How many attempts you at now for the Heartbreaker? A uh, thousand and something. We had a thousand fifty yesterday. So I'll be at a thousand and sixty... something. Who am I looking into? Is this Melissa? It is. Uh, 1,074. I had, it was at 850 when we started the event this year. Oh, ice. Oh, no. Oh, those healer cues, they're too fucking quick, hey. Too fucking quick. I can equip it, just not mog it. Yeah, the front end code of making a trial tune on a low pop RP realm. There you go. It was literally on the first realm I looked. I do 1074th right now. Yeah, this will be the 1075th. Uh, there's a counter in the bottom right corner. Yep, this is rarity here. It keeps track for me. Uh, Nikoto 2. Maybe I should do that. I can't do that. <laughs> I have a full account. Oh, wait, I'm a healer.
yeah, I've got um, 50 characters that I have, like 50-50s, so they're all eligible for the mount. Um, I just have to do the attempt each day. So 50, 50 attempts a day. I'm a warrior, not a luck. Oh no! This instant pop so long as you're getting fast cues, right? Like, I just want to get through them. <laughs> I just want to get through them. I'm at 19 now, so I'm getting close to having to wait between cues, which will be a time. Ah, uh, so many of us the heartbreaker drop once this event, even though it wasn't me that got it. it. was super stoked for that guy. That's so good. That is what, like, see, I love it when people get it because I'm like, good, it exists. It's not bugged. We can actually get it. That's good. That's wonderful news. It's... <laughs> So yeah, I should be able to get into this one because I'm only saved to 19 across the two servers. So this will be number 20 and I might have to wait for the next round. It definitely looks like it's Helix use on Horde at the moment, like right now. Um, Do you have any favorite mounts or are you a collector guru? Look, I like to think I'm a collector. Uh, I have 641 mounts, 641 mounts, which is a few. Uh, but my favorite is Ashes, Ashes of Allah. 100% is my favorite. There are some very, very gorgeous mounts. Don't get me wrong. There are lots of very nice mounts, but Ashes is my fave. Ah, I just dropped to be back. Sorry. Oh, no. Hope the disconnect didn't lose your buff. Silly DPS. Probably AFK not expecting it to pop yet. Thank you once or twice. All the rest of Q heals. Yeah. Yup. I just like to think I'm a collector guru. Me with 270 mounts. Hey, that just means you've got a bunch of easy ones still to collect. That's a good thing. All the ones, everything left, everything that I still have to collect are fucking difficult. So, <laughs> like, I mean, it's fun and it's a hell of a challenge and it makes it just so much more, like, an accomplishment when I finally get them. It feels really fucking good. But it does mean that I'm not getting a new mount every week, which kind of, yeah, it's slowed down a lot. Um, I highly recommend Data for Azeroth for collecting stuff. What I do is I jump into their mount tab, like I upload my tunes, all of them, all 50. And um, that was it. That was a fun time actually getting them all into DFA to start with. Uh, because some mounts are only alliance, and so it won't flag you as having the alliance mounts unless you have an alliance mount, uh, an alliance character updated, you know what I mean? So, um, went through and added them all, and then I go into the mount tab, and I untick collected and collected on an alt, so it's just showing me the ones I don't have, only showing me the ones I don't have, and then I sort by, uh, I sort by rarity. Uh, I go into sort, I untick unobtainable as well because I don't care uh, and I sort by rarity. Um, so the very first one on my list is the most common mount that I don't have and then the last one on the list is the least common mount that I don't have. So my thinking is if a mount is common, if more people have it, it must be easy to get, right? Not always true. But it seemed to be working for me so far. Uh, but I have 198 mounts left to collect that I can get. There are a bunch that I can't get anymore because they're unobtainable. Sucks, but it is what it is. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so I have 641 account mounts with 198 obtainable remaining. Ah, uh, I love Ashes 2. Just finished trying to get the drop on all my characters. Oh, wow. There you go. You'll get there. It'll drop eventually. You've got two super rare mounts, like Ladder and Galleon, if you consider raid mounts or rare invincible as well. I've got a few that are like unobtainable now, so they're fairly rare, uh, especially considering one of them was from like BC. Um, if I tick collected ones, and then we go to the end page. My rarest mount is apparently Wenlo, but I think that's just because they haven't updated the data yet. Because uh, it says zero people have it. Um, so I'm guessing that that's going to shoot up once we get there. Uh, I also have my rarest mount aside from Wenlo, which is fake, uh, is Desire's Battle Gargan. I finally got that the other day from the Countess in uh, in my Ember Court. 
Uh, and apparently 0.4827% of players have Desire's Battle Gargan. So that's my rarest mount. Um, next one is Lightforge Ruin Strider, which is a class mount that's, um, a, and a uh, Lightforge would be Paladin Draenei. Like a Lightforge Draenei Paladin, can only, only they can get that. Uh, then I've got the Pale Hide Direhorn, which is a half a million gold mount from a, from a vendor. Uh, then I've got the Swift Spectral Tiger, understandably one of the rarer ones. Uh, then Dawnforge Ram, I've got the Yellow Marsh Hopper, which is apparently a really rare one, even though the blue and the green ones are far more common than that. I guess the yellow one's just ugly. Uh, Crusader's Direhorn, Bloodfang Widow from the Mad Merchant. Uh, the Blue Marsh Hopper. Uh, the Pond Nettle is one that only 1.8723% of players have. Less than 2% of players have the Pond Nettle. But I have one, and it took me 4,713 fucking casts. Um, Rust Bolt Resistor, which is another half a million gold mount, the Green Marsh Upper, um, and then a bunch of Legion class mounts, Glory of the Shadowlands Hero, more Legion class mounts, Warspine from Nerissa Heartless, a couple from the store, another class mount, more Legion mounts. Yeah, uh, a lot of the really rare ones I have aren't because they're super rare or difficult to get, it's because no one bothers. There's a lot of ones in there that are purchased with gold that people just don't buy. Um, which... I'm a collector, I want all of them, I don't care where they come from. I don't really care what they look like either, I just want them. So... <laughs> God, that's a nice colour, but Gargans are a bit meh. Yeah, that's fair, but um, look, I want all of them, so I'ma get them. I'ma get them! It's... <laughs> Ah, uh, currently in the rarity add-on settings, love the little bar you have on the right. How do I go about equipping that or enabling that? Um, you click the minimap button once. That's it. You click it, it toggles it on and off. Ah, uh, one of those uncommon page. This still leaves me. Is Arboreal Gulper can't get the mushroom to drop. Yeah, I got that in the first couple weeks. Um, I'm not sure how. I, I, yeah. Every, like, a, a few people have been talking about how difficult it is these days. I just honestly wouldn't be, wouldn't try to farm it, because it's just, because it can drop from literally anything. Just every single day, go into Ardenweald and clear all the world quests. Do all the world quests, um, clear them out, and eventually it'll just drop while you're doing that, and you'll get a ton of, like, I mean, the Paragon stuff gives you a shitload of gold. So you'll actually, like, if you're doing the world quests every day and you hit a bunch of those Paragons, you're gonna, like, be rolling in it as well. And then eventually, hopefully, the mushroom will drop. Was there for Pond Nettle Drop? Yeah, score spine to Haunted Mountain, the two I haven't got yet that I've been farming. Yeah, still haven't got my bloody ray fished up yet. Not even trying for the Pond Nettle. Fair. Fair. Uh, drops pretty commonly from the dungeon, and you can probably solo normal. There you go. I can help you farm the frog item if you want. Here you are. Lots of help, lots of assistance from people. This is awesome to see. I love it. Oh, I'm supposed to be healing. Shit, where's my holy button? My inhale spec? No. Fuck, and now I can't change. That's fine. Um. Oh, you're trying to get your inhale spec. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna do that then. Perfect. <laughs> Mashes the button. You'd think, you, I would love to see if the actual, if the UI could figure out what spec you're in and try to give priority to that rather than making, try, trying to make both of us switch. That's a little bit silly. Heading to the Isle of Giants, missing two of the raptors from the eggs that drop. Yeah. God, that took me a while to get. That did take a while. Uh, all right. So I've got two more hordies to do before I switch back to Alliance again. Helping someone kill it. I was only 51. And then you can't learn, you can't actually learn the mount till you hit 60. My first Toxic Wasteling! Yay, Kay! Well done! Well done! Okay. I have to wait a second because I'm at 20 locks. It's so much easier to farm the Bone White Raptor at 60. Yes! <laughs> Agreed! Correct! Oh! We have 
DC. Attempting to reconnect to Twitch. Message everyone on Twitch chat on my phone and let them know that I'm here. Oh, we're back. Cool. Thank you. Um, I need to refresh chat as well. I think. Let me just crush that because that takes a bit longer to connect sometimes. Um, yeah, internet dropped out. Uh, I was able to connect back to WoW really quickly, um, but OBS took a few seconds. Oh, nope, I'm dropping a ton of frames. Yeah, no, disconnected again. Yep, and it's reconnected, but it's it's gonna DC again. Yep. Hey Jess, are you dropping out as well? Jess? Are you dropping out as well? Uh, my internet Have you got a shirt on? I'm still recording, don't come in. Um, your internet won't connect, so it is both of us, it's not just me? Yeah, okay, all right, because I was wondering if maybe it's the cable rather than the router, that if it's both of us having it, then it's then it's definitely not the cable. Um, yeah, every time it reconnects, it's um, it's dropping out again. Like, it's just, it's little blips, but it's enough to fuck over everything. Oh, it looks like I've reconnected. I think we're good. I think we're good. Well, that should have cleared out a couple of attempts. Let's try again. <laughs> yeah, I, um, so you guys know I've been having No, and it's dropped out again. It's dropped out again. My kabips have gone to zero. So I'm just waiting for WoW to freeze up and drop again. Yep. See? Um, hmm. I'm going to check if IINet is having issues. Like the ISP rather than... Because there is like a storm or whatever. So maybe that's what's... No, okay. We look like we're back. Let's give it 20 seconds. Oh, I'm gonna refresh chat again because it's gonna be disconnected. Network status. Thank you for putting a shirt on. <laughs> well, that's why I said be right back. Oh, okay. So put a um, shirt on. Hi, Zam. I'm gonna check. Oh, bad people here. It's funny, every time I refresh the chat box, Zam, your name color changes. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? You get Rainbow Zam. Um, I'm just gonna see if Hi, I can. I want to see if there's actually, because we have a storm happening, so I'm wondering if there's a like two months ago, seven months, eight months, a year ago, not. Okay, so it's definitely us. Um, Dad has sent me a new, guys, you need to see this. Can you pass me the box? It's an 80s Roomba. Look at this. <laughs> look, look at this shit. This is a, this is what I think 80s cars thought, like this is what they thought cars would look like in the future in the 80s. So, uh, <laughs> but dad sent me that. Um, so I'm gonna like, and I've been putting off 
installing it because I've just been busy as fuck. But this is ridiculous. I'm I'm done. This is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that after stream today. Um, obviously I'm not gonna do it during stream because that would disconnect the internet and need that to stream. Uh, <laughs> but I think we'll we'll do that after stream. What do you reckon? Sounds good. Yeah. I'm playing with the lights. I keep on bumping into them and it's like, what it? Oh. You know what's even worse is when I'm sitting here in like uh, workout gear or no, no clothes because I'm, you know, I've just rolled out of bed. These ones here get stuck to my back. You can see, see how this stuff's peeling off it. There's actually, I think there's protective films on these, aren't there? Is that a protective film or am I going to destroy this by pulling on it? I think I'm going to destroy it. You're going to destroy looks like, it. Yeah, that's like glue gun stuff. But yeah, no, they keep sticking to my back. It's very pleasant. That's Sounds sarcasm. anything but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sarcasm. Um, Bye, have fun. Sorry that the internet was shit. It's amazing. It's yeah. So that's gonna be that's gonna be what gives me the net to be able to stream and, and stuff. Hopefully, if that doesn't work, if I've got two different routers and I still have dropouts and stuff, then I'm gonna be calling my ISP and being like, hey, so I have some issues. Can we run some tests or something? So this is instance 20, uh, but I've got a minute. So I should, by the time I switch to the next tune, which is, which is gonna be Alliance side, but by the time I switch to the next tune, um, I should be good to go. I'm glad that all those DCs and not being able to run for a few minutes just allowed me to catch up to where I was up to rather than like actually putting, pushing me behind. That's a good feeling. But yeah, that, that first, the first 10 on Horde being like really long queues, holy shit, fucked out the time, fucked up the timing big time. Um, should make drop quicker than I expected. Now to wait three days so I can farm another, yes. Yeah, they actually drop pretty quick these days. I remember going out there and killing like three things and having an egg drop each time, uh, which was nice. As well, Mog would be undead. Grungy containment pack from Bubble Blood and the Fumigator's Mask. Seems to be the day for internet dropouts. Ellie and I did the achievements and got the toy. Yay! Oh, that's so good. I'm so glad that the DC didn't, like, break the chain. That's really good to hear. Oh, I know it used to be great for debugging internet connection issues. It's been a long time since I've been a customer. There, so they've always been really good with me. Um, I, I remember back when Netflix launched in Australia, um, we went from having a flawless connection to having some serious like lag, massive lag um, every evening after people got home from work. Uh, and we called them and we said, hey, we've gone from like stellar connection to like not not dropouts per se, but just real lag, like no, no fucking no speed whatsoever. It was just really, really slow. And they're like, yep. Um, so I'm going like, wh when did this start happening? And we gave them the date and they're like, yep, we thought that would be the case. Um, this is the node that you're connected to. Oh, fucking hell. Reconnecting. Oh. There we go. Reconnection successful. Uh, I'm going to refresh chat so I can't see anything um but yeah so uh I've been with Ironet for years we were having massive lag issues uh called them up and said it started approximately the state and they're like yep we thought it might have been um that was when we started experiencing massive influx of, of connections and stuff to your particular node because we live in an area where there's a ton of apartments and stuff and everyone got Netflix uh, so everyone was streaming, which is not something that had happened very often at all up until that point uh, but all of a sudden everyone was streaming and um so they said we are currently undergoing upgrades to that node 
because obviously it needs it. So we're undergoing upgrades currently. Um, I've left a note on your file. Please call us back when your internet connection gets back to normal. Uh, we know it's going to happen, um, but give us a call back when it gets back to normal. And we're like, oh, okay, sure. Uh, so it took them about two and a half, three months. Uh, and I, we called them back and we said, cool, um, it has is, is gotten back to normal. This is our account number. They're like, all right, cool. Um, we're going to put a credit of three months onto your account. That's it. Like, we didn't ask for it. We didn't complain. There was no, it was just, hey, what's going on with our connection? That was it. Uh, and they just, yep, cool. We're going to, we're going to credit you for three months because that's how long it took. Done. Uh, IINet, I will, I will always recommend IINet unless something changes big time. Like if they change hands and everything goes to shit or something like that, then sure. Um, but I've had nothing but good experiences with them. Um, and so Street said, I should make an Alliance character and buy the default mounts. I presume it's the same as the Fly Tigers in Orgrimmar. The, um, yes. The, uh, the... Fuck, I've forgotten what they're called now. It's a meme. We have a meme here about the mount that looks, or the makeup that looks like it. And I've totally forgotten. Not, not the, there are Griffins on Alliance side, yeah. I'm talking about the Horde ones. Um, but that's okay. Uh... Yeah, so they have griffins as flying mounts on Alliance side, and they also have horses as ground mounts. Windriders! There we go, yes, the Windriders in, uh, for a horde. Thank you, Yo. 100% always recommend them, even though I'm with Optus. Now, mainly for bundling reasons. Yeah, I mean, look, if it's gonna save you money and you're getting a similar product, like a similar level of product, then sure. Um, and I mean, you know, customer service is great, but it's better if you don't need the customer service, obviously. If you don't have issues, you don't need to deal with CS. Uh, but it is good that when you do have issues, they do have CS that you want to engage with. <laughs> um, yeah, it just kind of depends on what's going on. But yeah, I'm just, I'm getting really sick of the issues that I've been having. Like disconnects every fucking day, every day. Uh, but I don't think it's IINet. I really don't think it's our connection. I think it's um, the router. But if I pop in this new router and I'm still having issues, then I'll be giving them a call. Um, there might be an issue with the NBN box. It might not be the network. It might be the hardware in their apartment or in the building. I fucking hope not. Um, but I know they have been doing a few alterations on the building, I think. And I just really hope someone hasn't like fucking knocked an NBN cable or something because you know how like you know how straight those things have to be. They're, they're carrying light, like they have to refract properly. Um, <clears throat> we love you for a while, customer service has always been really good. Oh, that's great news. That's awesome news. Oh shit, I might not be let into this. Nine, ten. Oh, okay, let me in. All right. Thank God for that. <laughs> mm hmm. I oh, now it says five minutes. Yeah, so it just ticked over. I'm gonna have to wait five minutes before I can get into the next one because of the fucking queues earlier in the day. That sucks. Hmm. Unless because of the disconnect save instances is counting it wrong. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it, it counts it like by the clock rather than by your connection. Uh, no, it actually says minutes. So it could actually be wrong. Ooh, that makes me nervous. It makes me really nervous. Mm. <laughs> you do if you hit the timer, you hit the timer. I know, but like, I want to know when the timer is. <laughs> Preferably. Preferably. Ooh, I have chocolate. I forgot about that. Snack chocolate. Yes. I love the different flavors. They're just so good.
Mm, okay, eight minutes from that, six now. Mm, I'm at three minutes, apparently. Oh, wait. So, mm, three, six, eight, twelve. Like, So I've got at least another 50 minutes on stream because my 18th lockout is 52 minutes away. So I'm going to be going to about 3 p.m. by the looks of it. Um, I'm going to take a break to chair stream or something. What do you think of the 9.2 mounts? Love look at the new creatures. I've been avoiding spoilers. So I don't know. Um, I did jump on the Warcraft mounts page and... Um, had a quick scroll through and counted the number of pictures that there were to see how many new mounts they were introducing. There's 43, but I didn't really take the time to look at them because I didn't want to go into anything and then read that it was unlocked by killing this character or, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to know. So um, yeah, spoilers are banned in this channel, just FYI, for anyone who wants to talk about 9.2, there's a channel in Discord, it's called Story Spoilers. Uh, feel free to, to share your thoughts there, but um. I am actively avoiding spoilers. So um, I haven't really looked at the new mounts very much. I do remember vaguely a couple from like the announcement trailer from Blizzard. I did watch that and they looked pretty freaking cool, but I haven't seen anything since then. So if there's been any like adjustments or, or tweaks or whatever, then I'm, I'm not too sure about them. Um, but yeah, always love new mounts though. New things to collect, even though it's 43 of them and it'll push me up above 20, uh, 200 left to get again. But that's okay. Like said, you're being excited for two weeks. I'm excited because the launch of the new patch means that Lovers in the Air will be over. <laughs> Love that for me. As I show those rice on. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's um. From what I saw from them, they look really cool. But um, my brain is also a bit of a colander, so I don't really remember too much. So, hmm. <laughs> Oh, I'll come out. So names your info, so what they look like. Would you be interested? Honestly, no. Not really, because, I mean, I would also love to be like, oh my god, look at this one! It's so fucking cool! Like, in-game, on-stream, kind of. Yeah, I feel like that might be more fun for everyone. Prince Ali, fabulous he, Ali, just arrived at my court. Well, you need to fucking recruit him, don't you, Jazz? Adopt him as your son and become him as your player character. Please and thank you. <clears throat> Just wanted to marry my daughter. So marry him to the eldest and make him your player heir. Seventeen seconds. <clears throat> okay, here we go. I do remember having one particular cue on Alliance that went for like five or six minutes. So it makes sense that there was that big chunk in there, but still upsetting. sinuses <clears throat> last few days they must have kicked up construction or something in one of the 
places nearby because I just for the last kind of 72 hours I have not been able to breathe at all it is the actual worst I'm actually thinking about looking into an air purifier I can close the windows, close the door, and just, like, try to clean the air, even in just in this little room. Ugh. This is just horrific. <clears throat> okay, on to the next one. seconds. Yes. Sitting on that 20 instances entered, making sure I'm moving as quickly as I possibly can. Baby tune da 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 baby tune da na 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 Yes! <laughs> no more baby tunes though, hey! They're all grown up now. Four or fifty. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. It's taking a little while, but we are getting there. Just get a metric here. <laughs> nah. Nah, we're all good. We're looking. Let's go. Much they're not sixties yet, after all. True. 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 Ooh. <laughs> I feel like someone is having some issues with their connection. It's the same person. On off 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 on 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 off off off. Yeah, it's uh. Look, that's fine. Hope they're okay.
error, error, error. Yeah, it's uh. Mm -hmm. It's most code. They're asking for help. Shit! But I can't whisper them because they're offline. <laughs> How do I help? <laughs> We get <laughs> next turn. Tell the artifacts I'm having being made basic crap when I'm an emperor. You bastards have one job and it's to make something cool. <laughs> oh, Jess. I'm so sorry. Oh, dear. Death to the infidels. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. to check. I could probably do that. And I have a stretch redemption. Oh, hello, Lando. Oh, side of the town special be Mythic Plus. That'll be fun. Didn't know that. Um. I let you go to sleep. No worries, Street. We'll see you next time. See you next time. I think for like eight weeks trying to get the glaive off last boss. Yeah, I think I did it twice. I did it originally, and then I did the hard mode, and that's been it. That's it, literally. I need to go in and get all those achievements, now that we're, like, massively overgeared. Wait, why am I not in the group? I fucking- Oh, I must have been waiting for it to tick over and then didn't realize it had already. My bad. Fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> ah, it's fine. means we can catch up. Yeah, fair. Go and move a little bit faster. You plan for this achievement, go steal other people's cool stuff to meet the requirements. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, maybe they have to see cool stuff to know what cool stuff is, Jess. Have you ever thought about that? Hmm. <clears throat> No, 
I turned you off. I don't know what cool stuff looks like. Stop walking my court and saying I can make you a cool thing. Fair. Fair. Throne of Scotland has made it to Spain. I'm sure Jack will be very pleased to hear that. I believe he did say, as long as the English don't have it. So there's that. Next one. We're getting there. We are getting there. Three more Alliance tunes, including this one. Oof, I sorry. Just missed it. Apparently it's Helicu Day. Instapop, yeah. Hopefully if you've got a healing tune, it'll mean you get an Instapop too. <laughs> I have so many presents arriving on Monday, I'm so excited. So many little boxes and things. So excited. Accidentally get the mount again. <laughs> it's a real pity that it's not the kind of mount that if you get a duplicate, you can trade it away because it doesn't drop from the boss. It comes from the, the box, you know? That's probably why they made it come from the box, so that people wouldn't like DM you, yelling and abusing you, telling you to trade it to them and all that kind of shit. But yeah. That was fucking quick. Two more hoardies. Ah, uh, alliance. Two more alliance. Got a minute till I can queue again anyway. Hey oh, Jazz, the Alliance. You, have you checked the lobby today? For things and stuff of substance. Not yet. Fair. 
So my mecha order is coming Thursday to Monday. Bubble tea is Monday to Wednesday. Mellow is Monday. I think that's yes yeah, style is Monday or Tuesday. And then there's another box that I don't know where it's from. I think it might also be yes style though. It might just be that there was enough yes style stuff they had to put it in two boxes. Potentially. <clears throat> Extra presents for Pia! Yas! Yas, this is, um, so, like, the Mecha thing, because Mecha has, like, a birthday gift if you're part of their loyalty program. Um, so that's the birthday gift, and I bought something that I'm running low on as well, so that'll come in that. Uh, bubble tea is because, well, we're running out of bubble tea. We have no toppings left because that last bag of pearls expired. Uh, <laughs> which was an entertaining, uh, event for all involved. Um... Mellow is, I believe that that's the two lipsticks Zeron bought me for my birthday from Throne, which is unbelievably fucking quick. Uh, and then YesStyle is, uh, you guys might remember, like, back when I first launched Throne, back in mid-December, there were a whole lot of, like, YesStyle shirts and stuff on there that uh, a lot of them got bought out, like, pretty quickly. Um, so that's all of those, because they were still, because um, Throne placed all of it as one big order, but one of the items was delayed. Like, they didn't have anything in stock and they were having to wait for it to come through. Um, so that's all of that. All of that. I think there's, like, five shirts. The jewelry box from Nano. Um, uh, might, there might be one of the dresses or maybe both of the dresses in there. But, yeah, like, five shirts and a, and a jewelry box at the very least. So, yeah, I am very excited. I have to do a photo shoot with Jess to say thank you to everyone for all the gifts and things. Which I'm sure he'll be fine with. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, I just did this one, didn't I? I did. Ah, uh, some freaking count just declared war on me over basic trash quality artifact. Dude, just ask nicely for it and I'd give it to you. Yeah, sometimes they're afraid to ask though. Last tune for the day. Last alliance tune for the day. Still got 10 more hordes. Oh, me, I meant. Oh, good. Awesome. That's right. That's one. Blah. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. God's sake. So I'm part of a I'm I'm part of an app, right? Um, called Tribe, that has like paid advertising campaigns for like Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that kind of stuff. Um, so basically, like if you encounter something that you like, if if you see a submission on the app that you like, yes, I, I use that product, I enjoy that product, or whatever, I'm I'm gonna submit my uh, my pitch and then they pick a select number of influencers who get paid to do the thing it's actual sponsored posts um and i've been getting like i've been getting emails and, and pings like check out new listings in the app and i'm like yeah whatever they're all like they all need they all require a lot more followers than i have currently i got an email for one uh like for a specific uh campaign and i'm like oh well, if they're emailing me, maybe I actually meet requirements. Maybe that's why, like, they're emailing me directly because they have access to my requirements. Why would they send an email out to people who don't qualify for the campaign? No, they need 10K followers on Instagram. No, sorry, 10K on TikTok. I do not have 10K on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... They're just, uh, they're obviously just throwing things at the wall and hoping that something sticks. Oh well. <clears throat> oh well. One day maybe I'll have 10k followers on TikTok. Probably not for a while though. Instagram on the other hand, I think we got a handful of new followers last night after I talked about it. Which is kind of cool. I thought I did. I mustn't have. Either that or they've unfollowed me again. 
895 still. I think I'm just using the wrong hashtags and shit. What I need to do is make some time to sit down and watch the intermediate GGWP videos. And then if I have some questions, I can jump in the Discord and, and talk to them specifically uh, and say, hey, this is what I'm thinking about doing. I think it's the next level, but I don't know is like, what are your experiences? Um, yeah, but we'll see how we go. Alright, that's my alliance tunes done. So. <clears throat> Last ten for Horde. Fifty tunes, damn, hey, Abe, yeah. Fifty characters. Just a couple. Just a couple. You need a tank or healer queue. All level 60? No. <laughs> no. Um, vast majority of them are level 50 because that's what's required for lovers in the air. Um, I have four 60s and then I have like a handful of tunes that are somewhere between 50 and 60 just because I've accidentally gotten them like a... Uh, I think you're still in heal spec, so I'm just going to stay tank. Um, all right, cool. Sounds good. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so... Yes, I leveled them up to 50 because that was the minimum required. Uh, eventually, maybe I'll get them to 60, but... We'll see how we go. Oh, shit, where's my... Oh, I don't have the goddamn macro on my bars again. I forgot. All right, after this, I am, I'm doing this. I'm putting the macro on my bars. So I'm in D. Here we go. Clicking from the spell book. How can we go wrong? Oh, fuck. Look, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. As long as everyone lives and we defeat the boss, everything is fine. See, look. Oh, somebody even dinged. Fantastic. Good lord. Uh, okay. Out we go. Get so happy when I see you streaming. Hey, you're warm. Uh, yeah, unusual stream time for me today. Because uh, I've got a dinner to attend. Birthday dinner. Um, it was my birthday yesterday. So... Yeah, get the runs done earlier in the day so I can go and enjoy my night. <laughs> Can't wait for the leveling streams when new expansion comes out. Forced to level them to 60 then. Should level them to 60 even before that. Look, maybe. Maybe. Maybe they'll do a squish and I'll only have to level them like five levels. I don't think they'll do a level squish every time. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I think you've explained this a lot of the times. What is the macro? Uh, GSE, Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. Uh, I have macros for each class and each spec. Your little birthday, how old did you turn? 24, yes. 32. 32, enjoy your lurk, Ali. Firmly believe they'll bring us back up to 100 then squish us down again, so squish every four expansions. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, but I mean, I mean, there there is a chance that they don't even know yet if they'll ever do a level squish again. Who knows? Like, I think they'll probably do it when it feels right for the game. I like the earliest stream East Coast US, and you're on too late. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the time of the day when I actually have to work and do shit. And if you've only got like an hour or two in the morning, and then a stream, and then like an hour or two at night, you cannot be productive. There is no way in hell that you can get anything of like. There are tasks that I do that take four or five hours to do, and if I have to break them up into hour or two long chunks, then I'll never get them done. Um, so, yep, time zones are a bitch, but that's what they are. 
and I have to do what's right for me uh, and my schedule before I take into account everyone around the world. Because I'm never going to be able to make everyone happy. Oh, I'm in... Wait, why am I flagged as tank? I'm so confused. I thought it pulled me in as a healer. Maybe that's just... Oh, I'm so confused. Am I a tank? No, I'm a... I'm so lost. It doesn't matter. Everything's dead. I'm grateful. Ah, oh, Q fizzled and it swapped us. Oh, right. I didn't see that. Good lord. Okay, that's fine. Oh, look. My third toxic wasteling. It's been nearly... It's been nearly 250 attempts and I've had three toxic wastelings. That's it. That's, pre that's pretty unbelievable. Um, between 24 for years. Look, I agree wholeheartedly with this approach. Wholeheartedly. <laughs> I have no idea. You were older than me. There you go. There you go. It's worth them in the time zones for this though, but understood. Yeah, look, I, I would love to be able to do stuff in different, at different times, like different content at different times and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a tricky, it's a tricky thing to work just around life in general. Um, but there are always the VODs. I know VODs are not the same. I, I fully understand that VODs are not the same as like being able to watch live and interact with the person and stuff. If, if you wanted VODs, you'd probably just go and watch some fucking YouTube videos, right? You know? Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's fun. I'm 18 with 20 years experience. Love it. Love that. Oh, come on, DPS. Come back to your PC. Your queue has popped. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> well, on that topic, for yes. <laughs> YouTube too. I do. I'm fucking... Oh, I've had so many issues with rendering VODs lately, though. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm getting there. Okay, I was to go to tonight. Fantastic. Enjoy. I hope it's delightful and delicious. Good luck with Heartbreaker. Thank you, Ral. Thank you. What instance is this not play for a while? It looks kind of familiar. Shadowfang Keep. It's SFK. Uh, however, it is just a small pocket of SFK. Um, they drop you into there and then you jump out of there. They don't let you go through the rest of the instance. Cause it's just the event. Just the event, boss. But you queue for Crown Chemical Co. Go in and kill the three of them, get a heart-shaped box, and hope to fuck that it contains a mount. I think I'm just behind on the, the timer. Like every time I log in, it says like 19 with one minute. So we're, we're, we should be able to power through. Look, I've only got this many left. Such excitement. Seven to go. Okay, that's what I thought. Ran that so many times. Yeah, of course. Of course. Ah, that's a good dungeon. But yeah, you just, you get dropped into the little courtyard area. Um, and that's that. The doors are all locked elsewhere. Never even saw the heartbreaker drop for anyone yet. I've never seen it drop for anyone either. I mean, I've obviously I've seen the mount. I've seen people on the mount and stuff, but I've never seen it drop in one of my runs. And I'm now on a thousand and ninety-three of them. Must have a shield equipped. Well, fuck. Item is not ready yet. What are you talking about? Here we go. <clears throat> Many thanks. I was on an Australian server at that time. <laughs> Much fast loot. God, 
I just cannot shake the sleepiness, hey. I can't, sh I can't sh like shake how sleepy I am all the time. Fear getting a dozen roses a day. No, I've ha I haven't actually had that many of those items drop. Um, there we go, we've caught up now. It said 20, now I'm on 19 for three minutes. Hmm. Six more. <clears throat> Bottom bum. I really hope it drops before I have to do the one AM to four AM block. That's gonna suck. It's a holiday event. It is. Love is in the air. It's for the Heartbreaker. It used to be called the Love Rocket. Uh, they've renamed it. X45 Heartbreaker. Can't stop being tired, but that's Corona. Oh no. Oh dear. Yeah, no, I um slightly different. I don't have COVID, but I do have an autoimmune condition and uh, streaming every single day. Um, it's now been seven days that I've streamed consecutively uh, out of 18 planned consecutive streams. Uh, it's just my body is having some trouble keeping up, <laughs> but that's okay. I um, After this weekend, hopefully my diet will clean back up again. I've eaten a lot of crap this, <laughs> this weekend. Uh, lots of chips and chocolate and candy and stuff because it's my fucking birthday and piss off. Uh, also cake. Uh, <laughs> that cake was fucking amazing, you guys. You have no idea. So goddamn good. Black Forest Ghetto. Mm, delightful. Um, and no fire except for on the candles, which was impressive. But yeah, I, um, I just haven't been able to get good quality sleep at night either. Uh, so my body is having a bit of a, a bit of a struggle with it. Uh, I played a very long time ago, had all the holiday event achievements done on 10 tunes. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, I've got most, I think I've got almost all of them. So I've got all the metas. Lunar Festival's done. Lita's done. Noble Garden's done. Children's Week. Midsummer. Brewfest. Hallow's End. Pilgrim's Bounty. Wintervale. Uh, I am missing a couple Dark Moon ones, but they're all the um like there's the Dark Moon Deathmatch and then there's the band stuff that need you kinda need help with that. Uh, and then Time Walking, which is Legion Time Walking, which I haven't done either of those uh, yet. Um, but I had the Yeah, Long Strange Trip was uh, 15th of April 2009. So a while ago. A while ago but they keep adding like new toys and stuff um so those like uh i i'm a collector i do like transmog pets toys mounts all the kind of shit uh and so i have an add-on called all the things that helps me track things i'm missing uh, and they added a few things i think last year maybe the year before that i just never picked up um because i was busy and doing other shit when it was uh when the event was there um so I'm grabbing the last of that this year. I've decided that this year is the year of the event. I've got all the achievements, but I want to get all the collectibles. So I went and got um, the transmog from Lunar Festival when that kicked off. Uh, and I've got all the transmog from Lovers in the Air now. I've got three toys left to get, but I'm on track to get those. That'll be fine. Uh, and then it's just the mount from Lovers in the Air. Um, but that one I can't really control so much. I'm doing my 50 attempts every day. 50 tunes times 15 days is 750 total attempts across the entire event. Uh, if it doesn't drop, it's not on me. I put in I put in my maximum effort. It's up to the game to give me what I need now. Uh, so yeah, I can all I can do all I can do is the best I can do. Um, and then I think, what's the next? Um, how do I get the like that? So we've got Lovers in the Air, that's Dark Moon, and Goro. We've got Trial of Style. I probably need to get into Trial of Style um, because there's a bunch of collectibles I can get there. Um, and then Noble Garden. I'll have to check and see if there are any Noble Garden toys I'm missing. But yeah, certainly getting there. 
Quality sleep. What is this? A video game? I know, right? You feel rested. Bullshit. <laughs> a bullshit. Oh, fuck. Four more. Minus from 2009 as well. Oh, there you go. There you go. Easter. Yes, Easter. I have to go through... Um, I've been putting in-game events into my personal calendar. Uh, so that I can, so that when I'm planning out my streams, I have it easily accessible, so I don't have to log in and scroll through shit and stuff. Uh, it's been making it a lot easier. Um, I don't, I think I stopped. I don't think I entered March. Oh no, that's, that's March. So I've entered March. I think I might've stopped at March. Dark Moon Fair was already, yeah, I think I've stopped at March. Uh... Yeah, that's right. I'll um go through and add all those in because I don't want to add too many too far into the future because like shit can change sometimes. Um, like they shuffle things around when they add new stuff and all that kind of thing. Um, but now that nine two is coming on the twenty second of Feb, I'm probably safe to put about six months worth into my calendar because I doubt that they'd change that majorly without a patch without like nine two five. Uh, which I don't know when it's going to come along, but it probably won't be for a little while. Um, Blue XP bar, so you're obviously rested. My character's arrested. I am not. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice though, Thor? One day, one day. Take a week off stream and get actually have some sleep. I'm sure you'd all love that. <laughs> Correct, Sam. Correct. <laughs> Possibly. That's all right. Three to go. Making progress, making bacon progress. Nearly 50 down. It takes a while. <laughs> Takes a little while. 16 seconds to wait. I might lie down. <laughs> Jazz woke me up at 11, one hour before stream was due to start, and I was like, fuck! Um, yeah. Jazz is a good friend. Six minutes until the next one! Fuck me! Alright, that's, yep, yeah, okay. Oh, that must have been, this must have been when we had all the DCs. Good. Good. Nicely under the three hour total time. Yeah, it's it's definitely feeling a bit more comfortable. I'm I'm still really kind of honestly scared. I think scared is the right word um, because that final day of attempts is from daily reset at 1 a.m. until the event goes offline at 4 a.m. It's only three hours. So if anything goes wrong, there's a chance I miss a handful of attempts. Um, and not only would that mean that I've missed a handful of attempts where I could have gotten the fucking mount, but it means that my attempts won't sit beautifully at 1600 for the, for the mount. So I would like it, to, I would like to be able to get them all in, in the three hours. So I'm just, I'm kind of, I'm crossing everything and hoping that I'll have a couple of people who are as batshit as I am uh, awake at 1am waiting for the reset on that final day so that they can jump into queues with me. And with, especially with my DPS only tunes and get, get those queues going. Um, get them faster. I don't expect anyone to come along to all 50 runs. Like, that's, you know, but at least if I've got a handful of people who can kind of rotate through and, and 
and get there because it's going to take a minimum of over two hours because I need like it's 30 horde and 20 alliance and so I can't start on my 21st tune on horde until the second hour has expired which means I have yeah so it's it's going to be tight it's going to be tight but I like hopefully I don't even I need to worry about it my my biggest hope is that I don't have to do it because I get the mount um but I have to be realistic even if I get all 750 attempts this event, I'm still only going to be sitting on 1600. And 1600 is not even half of, of 3,333. It's half of 3,200. So, like, if I do get it this year, I, it's, I'll be fucking lucky. Exceptionally lucky. Uh, it'd be nice, but I, I understand that the math is against me. Um, so, yeah, we'll just... Um, We'll see how we go and, and hopefully hopefully we have a few people in the community who are able to kind of help and even even if they're not people in the community but they just kind of stumble on the stream and decide to help out or whatever like that would be super awesome but i can't like i don't want to expect that people are going to help you know that doesn't that feels wrong to me um potential big ouch yeah exactly a hugely potential big ouch um so i'm i'm nervous but um i'm a bit scared but look, whatever happens, happens. Um, I can all I can do is like you know switch tunes quickly, have all the add-ons off so I can switch tunes nice and fast, get into that queue, no accidental queuing for for other shit, um, and just hope that there are enough people online doing what I'm doing, hoping for that last chance at the mount um, that I can get into a group. Hoping against hope. <clears throat> Two minutes until I can queue again. Ah, <sighs> instance lockouts. How I loathe thee. I understand, but it still sucks. Mm. Alright, I don't have ATT turned on. Haha. <laughs> Actually, maybe let's turn it on and have a squiz. I'm gonna try his last achievement now. I pitied the fool. Is that a. I grasp. What? So, why is that one. It's It's been a while. It's been over 10 years since I've done this achievement. So, why is, is, uh, why is this one difficult? Remind me. Because I don't have Zygor turned on on this tune, so I can't um, check this, the, like guides or anything. I don't, there might not even be a guide. I'm not 100% sure. Um, would you mind educating me? Pity the Fool is the last only for the matter. Ooh, is it something you're able to team up for? You just have to get the cue to pop. What cue to pop? Can't target BGs, I don't think. Yeah, you can. Specific battlegrounds. I fools and go into various places. Ah, uh, okay. Level items are 10 tokens each. Need five to do them all. And it's cues with dungeon stuff. I'm checking where stuff. Oh, okay. Including BG dungeon raid. Well, dungeons and raids you can go and zone in manually yourself. But the BG you can you can queue for. And if you've got a handful of people who are all doing it together, if you buy one fool each, you can zone in and do it all. Do you know what I mean? So Koala needs the meta, K needs the meta. Yori needs this. That's three of you. Gurubashi Arena, that's not a BG. Oh, Arathi Basin is. Okay. Arathi Basin Blacksmith is. Winter Grasp, you can just go to the zone, I think. Um, but Gurubashi is the arena in Stranglethorn. Isn't it? Yeah, Gurubashi Arena. Is up here. There's the only queue. I need tokens to buy the thing. So then we need to queue for, yeah. Rathia and Nax left. There you go, you can all help each other out. <laughs> Yay for teamwork! Yay for community! Can I just say, the Fiamily has to be one of the most incredible communities I've ever been a part of. Just the fact that everyone is just so willing to help each other out and, and jump in and lend a hand and it's just, 
Super awesome. Super awesome. You buy three of them. Amazing. Means each of the other two only have to buy one each if they're missing everything. And remember Deaths of Chromie for farming the Themajigs. You can get about 100 in, in one 15 minute run, roughly. So that's about one full per 15 minute run. A little DPSQ, haven't had that happen yet tonight. Well, because we were a group of four that queued, right? So two of us got DPSQs. So that's fun. Thank you for nothing now. Let's see how long it takes. Well, if others need the Arathi as well, Yori, it might be worth you, like, waiting for them to... Unless you're all in a group already. One more? Really? I'm already on the one more. Oh, shit, I am. Last tune. Uh, invite me to group them on my level 60 haughty. Perfect. Yori and Koala. No waiting. No, I've got 11 seconds. <laughs> For me, at least. But not much. Two. One. 19. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This will be my 1100th attempt. 1100 attempts. Did in less than three hours. We did! 246. Well, we gotta still kill it, but um Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. We just gotta keep it there. Like the I think day one we ended up doing like three hours and forty-five minutes, and I think that was the only time we actually cracked the three hour mark. I think every other time it's been at least just under three hours. Um <clears throat> even with the DCs we had today for, for a while. So um that's promising. And then I'll shut off the stream and I'll figure out that new router to hopefully fix that problem. I'm not seeing you on quick join. If you're always appearing offline, that might be why. No heartbreaker. 1,100 attempts. No heartbreaker. Thank you so much to everyone who has helped me out today. This is like, look, look at, look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Um. I think, I think we'll go here. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, all right. Um, let us start this lovely person's day off. They've just gone live, so we're gonna um, we're gonna raid, send a raid. Uh, one 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 would be an epic attempt to get it on. It would, it would. Uh, look at that app. Yay, Tomcat! Yay! Had a priority reset at some point last year, so who knows how many times? Oh no! Oh god, that sucks. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, we're gonna raid Cricket. Cricket is a lovely human. Like, truly, just so genuinely awesome. Um, oh, what's going on? There we go. 
Can't wait for you as your AFK in game. That's strange. Um, so Cricket currently has slow mode on by the looks of it, and I think it's only sorry, only every three seconds, so you can't spam. Um, and it looks like she might have follower mode on for chat. Uh, I know that she's had a couple of um nasty groups come by lately, which is really heartbreaking because Cricket is just one of the most kind-hearted people I've ever known. She's just so genuinely lovely, and I think some people take that as like a sign of um of weakness or vulnerability or whatever and decide to attack it, which is shit. Um, so let's give her some love. She is absolutely worth the follow, uh, let me tell you. She's just, <laughs> she's so genuinely beautiful in every way I can possibly think of. Um, so... Yes, Radio 791 came out. Oh no, see you tomorrow. Yes, happy birthday. It's still Friday in some places. It is. It is still my birthday because it's my birthday somewhere. Um, it also got reset. Oh no. Ah oh, dear. Okay, so grab your copy paste. Change the Fiamma hype if you need to. If you don't have it, that's okay. Change those those uh, change those emojis, emotes, whatever, if you need to. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for, first up, Heartbreaker Runs. And then we're going to do some ATT stuff. We might have to wait a minute before I can get into some dungeons to do ATT farming, but I'm sure we'll blab our tops off anyway. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.